Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and today I want to talk to you guys about why rapid fat loss or losing weight or cutting even for people who aren't particularly obese uh, doesn't work. It doesn't give long-term results and there's been enough data and research on this over the years that we kind of understand what's going on. Uh, so let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. We're going to come to my crafting a little bit and let's talk about this. Uh, because we see this even on YouTube. Uh, that a lot of people ask me, Jason, why are you cutting slow? You're only losing about a pound and a half a week, and that's what you've been doing for months now. Uh, yeah, and it's working. I'm down 27, because we're not counting my initial five pounds. I was up as high as 255, uh, but I count this cut as starting at 250. Uh, I'm sitting at 223, only 27 pounds in over four months. Uh, why? Because that's how you keep the weight off. And we have plenty of studies on that. If you guys look at any of the research that goes back and look at stuff, anytime any people have lost a significant amount of weight, we're talking over 30 pounds, when you go back and look at it, how many of those people still have kept that weight off for three years? Anyone know? It's around 5%. Let that sink in for a moment. People who lose more than 30 pounds only 5% of them manage to keep it off for at least three years. Why do you think that is? Because we have a quick fix society. Everyone wants a special diet. They want to lose weight as quickly as possible. They want to lose two pounds, three pounds, five pounds a week. And this is the average American, obviously. We can go into people who are more fitness oriented in a minute. The average American, 19 out of 20 can't keep the weight off. You guys think that maybe it's because they, they went on a quick fix diet, they just wanted to lose weight quickly, and they didn't care about the long term? They didn't care about making positive lifestyle changes, things that they could continue to do three years from now? Because here's the thing, everyone talks about this dieting, cutting everything else, without thinking through the fact that it's not something they're going to do the rest of their lives. And that's kind of the point a lot of you need to think about when you use various weight loss methods. Are you going to do that forever? Whatever you did to lose the weight, is that something you're still going to be doing a year from now? It's something you're going to be doing two years from now still? No. Uh, most people who aren't particularly fitness oriented, they just want to lose weight quickly and they think that they can go back to the same lifestyle and keep the fat off. Well, don't we see the same thing in the online fitness community, this whole community oriented around aesthetics, fitness, bodybuilding, all of that? Uh, how many of these guys get to a certain leanness and stay there? There's a few. There's a few on YouTube because they know their money depends on it. But how many guys out there do we see in the community who go do big bulks and cuts again? How many guys when they go do a cut, they're almost immediately back where they started? Yes, wonder why that is? Because everyone wants to break everything into distinctive quick fat loss and quick muscle gain phases instead of sitting back and saying, okay, uh, obviously I'm never going to gain a lot of muscle without a lot of drugs. Why, why am I bulking like that? And a lot of it has to do with the mentality. Yeah, the bodybuilding world is carried over because bodybuilders diet down to body fats that are unsustainable. Those guys know they can't stay there and they use temporary methods to get there. A lot of the cutting drugs that you guys use, and that's what people sit in there and they talk about. Uh, we see this all the time. People do that to me. Jason, why don't you run a little trend in DNP? You could lose another 20 pounds really fast. Well, what happens when I come off the trend in the DNP and I eat the same diet that I followed while on the trend in DNP? How quick am I going to regain the 20 pounds? So I'm going to risk my health to lose 20 pounds for six weeks and then have to regain it. You guys see the problem with anything that's a quick fix? Are you going to continue to use the cutting drugs forever? Are you going to continue to use a really restrictive diet that allows you to lose two, three pounds a week? Is that what you're going to follow? Are you going to still be doing that six months or a year from now? No, of course not. And that's exactly what we have happen. I've had it happen with myself. Every time I've done a quick cut, I've rebounded. I've rebounded. You guys have seen me get a lot leaner. You guys remember when I started YouTube, I, I did a little contest on a bodybuilding forum. I lost, uh, what was it, 30 pounds? 32 pounds in 12 weeks. I was down at 202 when I started YouTube. My first old videos. You guys go look at my um, 
some of the oldest stuff that I had originally had put up back five years ago, it was down to like 200 pounds. And then you guys saw me bulk up pretty quick, getting ready for powerlifting again. The weight came back on and I was no longer uh, lean. Pretty quickly, because I got back into the mindset, I've got to get big quick. Uh, I'm as subject to this as anyone else. Uh, two and a half years ago, when I moved back to Texas, I went through separation. Uh, I went through ending of a relationship, moving back to a new country. I didn't have access to a car for six weeks. I had like six or eight weeks before I was able to get a hold of a car. I had to go through my credit union, get a loan, all this stuff. It was difficult to get to the gym because where I live, you, you don't just have buses and trains to go everywhere. It doesn't work that way. Um, the nearest decent gym would have been a three-hour walk. I mean, in car, it was only 20 minutes. But I couldn't get to the gym. I was really stressed. I lost a lot of weight. If you guys, maybe people aren't aware of this, I was 195 pounds two and a half years ago in here. So people who are always like, oh, you've been on a cut for whatever years. Well, I was 195 two and a half years ago. Considering you guys saw me in the 230s before that at certain points, that over 30 pounds. But I lost it really, really fast due to stress, lack of training, lack of eating. Uh, I lost a lot of muscle. And then when I started eating again, I regained weight really, really quickly. Eating and training, right? Regained 20 pounds really fast. And then I also found later I regained another 20 pounds really fast. So we know that's how it works when you lose weight quickly for whatever reason and it's not through strategic changes in lifestyle you will always regain it and i mean even people talk about bulking and cutting phases isn't that proof when you see bodybuilders do bulking and cutting isn't that proof that uh trying to do things quickly or doing unsustainable things uh won't be permanent you will regain all of it 95% of those guys don't stay even single digit body fat after a show. A lot of them get legitimately fat again. We got YouTubers who do that. How many YouTubers you see out there who do 30, 35 pounds of weight gain every year and then they cut, do a long cut, even losing two plus pounds a week. They get lean for a couple months and then they bulk back up again. And you know what? How much muscle do they gain? A lot of these guys gain what? One pound of muscle? For their 30 pound bulk after they cut again a pound they're putting themselves through this over and over sure it gives a good show for everyone yeah they make money showing people but they're not sustaining it either and then they're bulking back up because once you when you cut quickly two plus pounds a week lost body weight uh if, unless you're really really morbidly obese and you don't do it through lifestyle changes you want to sustain you regain the fat relatively quickly when you go back to the old lifestyle. We have studies on it for obese people or normal people, plenty of studies showing this. It happens to the overwhelming vast majority. Only a tiny minority are successful. Only a tiny minority are successful. The success stories are rare, but they all have things in common. They all make it lifelong habits. They follow changes in their diet that they intend to still be doing three years, four years from now. In my case, uh, I've made changes in my diet I can live with and I use a lot of cardio. I will always have the option of when I want to quit losing weight of reducing my cardio slightly. It doesn't mean I quit doing it. I can reduce it down to stay at a certain uh, certain body weight if need be. Not a problem. If I start to regain, I can always re-add it because the thing is, it's just a lifestyle change. It's just a lifestyle change. Nothing more. And that's the reason I'm doing it that way. I'm doing it and I'm doing a long cut and the reason I'm only halfway through it is four months because I intended this to be a nine month or even a year long fat loss phase. Slow gradual fat loss and changes in lifestyle that I can sustain for several years because that's the idea. Instead of looking at all of this as distinct rapid fat loss phases, a lot of people are like, well, you could just lose quicker and regain the strength. Yeah, when I go to regain the strength, I lose weight really fast and I'm going to be hungry. And when I finally get to come off my diet and I want to regain the strength, what's going to happen? How fast you guys think I'll be 250 again? Three months tops. I can gain 50 pounds in less than three months. That's easy. I can do that without eating a single drop of junk food. I can do that just by eating a lot to gain strength and muscle again and not doing cardio. 
real easy. And that's the problem. That's the problem with quick fat loss and looking at it that way of losing fat as quickly as possible without any concern for the long term. That's not fitness, it's not health, and it's not sustainable. Uh, and I don't recommend that you do it. And again, if you don't want to look at the research and data, just look at the YouTubers who do bulks and cuts every year or, or other people in the fitness world. A lot of them get legitimately fat relatively quickly, don't they, when they finish their cuts. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.